2016 22 foot long 3 foot V nose 8 and a half foot wide 7 and a half foot height we've changed the smokers on the rear porch for a few reasons one is weight also now has a more cooking area inside of the cabinet and the doors are so much easier to open and close it also has safety valve on the gas I just want to make it clear to everybody I have a lot of questions people saying what size you have what size you have this is what's available right here if you want something we can order it it takes time these units here take up to 16 weeks to get so if you want one this is what's available this size right here so all the other questions Hold on to them, not unless you want to put a deposit down and wait like I do. Quick walk around. Upgraded the axles, 5,000 pounds. Dual. The height is increased 6 inches. I also want to make another thing clear about the dump valve here. Which don't have a lot of clearance from the ground, understand. Neither does the tank. You put it inside, you take off too much floor space. You've got to have something to pull it with. I pull it with a 2500 GMC. It's not an HD, it's just 2500. Any difference? HD has a thicker frame in the rear. Right in that area, it continues thick. On a regular one, it gets smaller, plus you have more leaf spring. Like one more. What I do to beef this rear end up, is I put that rubber bumper in there to replace the one that comes factory with it. I don't know, about $200, one on each side. Or you can put airbags right there. That keeps your frame from squatting down onto your rear end further. When you put what they call tongue weight, the tongue weight on this trailer 450 pounds. So if you overloading it, of course it's going to squat, it's going to make the tank closer to the ground, then you're going to blame speed bumps and curbs and whatever else you hit on the way. Back to the trailer. Got a 50 amp twist on plug there does does come with 25 foot shoreline you got city gravity feel you can fill your tank up there hook a hose to it there you got pressure you don't have to use your it's lockable to keep people try to contaminate it or just it's good to have a lock on it I think don't need nobody in there but yourself triple tongue extended Way you can do good turns without hitting your bumper right here on your truck. It's got a five foot wide, three foot high window with the concession, with the flush locks on it. The gas shocks. Got a counter that flips up. It's locked down right now. This here is red. Love that color. Well, something stands out. People can see it clean. You got good barbecue? They're going to come back. Got two stabilizer jacks, one on each side. I don't know if you can see it. There's one there and one over there. It's got a 36 inch half door to get into the porch area. Okay, to the cabinet smoker. It's an upright square cabinet smoker. Two latches to keep the doors closed. You got three pull out shelves in it. This here can be has charcoal. You could grill here if you wanted. Well, you can put juice down in there, any kind of liquids to make steam. You don't want to put a lot though because this creates like a radiator and drops your temperatures. Not unless you got a really hot fire, that's up to you. You'll figure it out. I hear you get one. You got a charcoal box in there, very heavy duty one. 
Put charcoal wood in there. Over here you have an electric heating element. Can you see that? A wood chip. And why do I have that in there? Because, let me see, the tube burner right here. Pilot assembly. blue flame. Won't take too much time here. As you see it had a spark igniter. It's got the thermocoupler, pilot light. We'll shut it down here. That's the burners down. Pilot still goes. If that pilot blows out, this valve shuts off. You have no gas flow whatsoever. That's the safety thing about it. And once you shut it off, it, you ain't turned it back on. You have a door. The tanks there, the tanks don't come with it, but the changeover does. You have a valve out here that controls the height of that flame. That right there is what you turn that electric element on so you can get heat to it. So you put wood chips on it, get smoke, and of course it plugs in right here. And that's the way the smoker works. Look how easy them doors open. I love it. it. Used to be so heavy. I couldn't hardly do a video with one hand. Okay, let's go through just like the rest of the tires. 100 pound propane tank, two stage regulator, three quarter inch black iron pipe. Same as all my trailers. I don't skimp on nothing, I do it right. Quarter inch, 24 by 24, flat griddle, four burner range. It's at a 45 pound, I believe, double basket deep fryer. I heard somebody the other day said they put individual valves on every unit because they could turn the unit off they didn't need it. Well, that's not true. If you use the right unit, if you can see, I can turn the pilot off right there. So, one, one valve shuts everything down for safety. No need putting five valves on here when fire starts and you're trying to figure out which valve to grab because there's five, six of them. If you don't want to use your pilot, turn it off. Right there. Simple. Upright refrigerator, freezer. Electronically controlled. It's on wheels. Everything's strapped down. Ready to go. This unit's heading Augusta, Georgia. Right there. 50 amps. It's a 100 amp service but it's panel. It's only got 50 amps in it. Plenty of breakers. One for each thing. No slack. First thing people notice in these, I put receptacles in them. Got your hot water down here. Six gallon. Electric. On demand water pump. Water tank, fresh water that is, 35 gallon, 32 gallon. Get your triple sinks, Thir what, 14 by 10? 14 deep? No, 10 deep. These are all commercial faucets. A counter here. Try to make this counter low so it makes it 
low for the outside because you got to think about the customer. Some people go, oh, it's too low, but no, it's for the customer. Aluminum floors, place right there for you can move that refrigerator freezer over here, or you can put a cold bar or warm bar there. You got receptacles. Here's your light switch for the inside and the outside. Got a Purple K grease fire extinguisher, 10 pounder, 4x2 um, work table. Hood. Got a fan controller, switch, switch for the light. Removable baffles, grease, grease traps. Channel there is removable. It's like the grease tray. I put fluorescent bulbs in it. You change them if they're not bright enough. In the daylight. Got one vent here. Low profile. 13,500 BTU. Coleman Mach. I believe Mach 2. Air conditioner. Aluminum ceilings. We could drill a hole right there, hose this thing out. That's what you gotta think about, Max. This here's my money vault. That's where you put all your money. And of course, you disguise it with a spare tire. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.